Howdy. My name is Jim Riley, Director for Utilities and Energy Management here at Texas A&M University. We started generating electricity and steam here in utilities and energy management serving the university back in 1893, shortly after they invented electricity. Texas A&M is one of the largest universities in the nation and it's a premier teaching and research university. There are 22 million gross square feet of space, 19 million square feet of that is air conditioned and heated. Texas A&M now has over 50,000 students and over 5,000 acres of land that we serve with 22 million gross square feet of space. We're real excited about the latest generation of combined heat and power, the generation of electricity, typically with a gas turbine drive, and the waste heat goes into a heat recovery steam generator or a boiler, and you generate high pressure, high temperature steam, then you take that steam and you go through another steam turbine generator to produce more electricity you take the exhaust from that turbine and you go to low pressure steam to heat exchangers for heating hot water and other uses. So you can see that you extract all the useful energy out of a cubic foot of natural gas. That allows us to have very high heat rate or efficiency, but it also allows us to greatly reduce the amount of emissions that go into the environment because it, it is much more efficient than a traditional power plant that's off site somewhere that might consume coal. Uh, or some other fuel, even if it consumes natural gas, it's going to have an efficiency of maybe 30, 35 percent maximum. Uh, whereas we can get to efficiencies of over 80 percent. It's allowed us to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 30 percent. Some of the initiatives associated with our Energy Action Plan 2015, Smart Energy Campus Initiative, partners with faculty, researchers, and students to come up with sustainable design and implement projects like uh, photovoltaic panels on top of one of our buildings. It's uh, back feeding the, the grid to generate power. We're looking at geothermal for heating and cooling using very sophisticated building automation and control to use occupancy sensors to not just turn on and off lights, but when no one is in the space for a period of time, will actually shut down the air conditioning. Our utilities and energy management department generates the electricity, the steam, the chilled water, the heating hot water, the domestic cold water, the domestic hot water, to provide campus with all of those services crucial to the mission of the university. Electricity they generate and provide and all the other commodities that are delivered to our customers on campus allow us to truly provide the energy to educate. 